In the village of Tianshui, there is a tradition of marrying off a local girl to the river god, which seems to bring prosperity and a rich catch of fish to the village. To find the body of another such bride of the river god, the experienced Master Jiang, who specializes in catching corpses from rivers, and his apprentice Yan Huang arrive in the village. However, the search brings nothing, and Yan Huang begins to suspect that something strange is going on in this place, and the locals are not telling him something. Because of the high rate of production, almost any trend in Chinese online movies burns out quickly. As soon as couple of movies on the same topic become a hit, several dozens more similar films appear in a short period of time. The producers either shoot new ones at an accelerated pace or pull out something similar that was filmed long ago but has not yet been released to online theaters. And here we are with the genre of so-called folklore horror films. They were extremely popular just half a year ago, but now has already degenerated into a conveyor production, new projects resemble each other like two drops of water. Yin Young Cross Border Man follows the familiar path of such pictures. In a certain village something inexplicable happens, by all accounts associated with paranormal. The protagonist, who must deal with all this, does not believe in superstition, considering them a relic of the past, and although in the course of the case things become more and more strange, in the end everything will fall into place and reveal some tragic story from the past, which will help to find the true villain, who is trying to hide their actions under seemingly supernatural incidents. Yin Yang Cross Border Man is not the worst example of this trend, but let's just say, it's flawed. There is detective intrigue at the heart of the movie, but it is not very well thought out and at some point gets out of control. Trying to explain everything, the authors switch to flashbacks for a long time and push the main character Yen Huang into the background. He practically stops acting and turns into a silent listener. The plot does not need his teacher, played by experienced Chinese actor Wang Shuangbao. He spends the whole story in the background and the movie would not change if his character was not in it at all. At the online box office, Yin Yang Cross Border Man performed as average as possible, and that's pretty much exactly what it deserves. That's not to say its writers were shoddy, but it's a movie made not because its authors came up with a great story, but because a certain trend started a demand that producers rushed to satisfy. Thanks to the experience of director Gui Yulong, who's been working in internet cinema for years, it's all molded into a fairly competent genre movie, but its optionality and short-termism are hard to disguise, even by professionals.